Well, it's, it's a good story, Fabian, because I uh, met um, a colleague from Elsevier in uh, the, the Sense Asia conference in Singapore. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've written quite a few book chapters for a lot of colleagues and collaborators, etc. So um, they asked me, would I be interested in doing a, I suppose, uh, a comprehensive product development book, consumer driven, uh, specifically aimed initially at SMEs, which are small to medium sized enterprises. I suppose over time that idea evolved and the discussions I had with Elsevier were that, you know, let's not restrict ourselves to just SMEs. Mm -hmm. Let's do consumer driven product development from inception, project management, right through to the methods, packaging, safety, and uh, everything in between, but also some good case studies how to solve various issues or problems or how to design experiments. Absolutely. I think sensory has really changed a lot in the last five, ten years. Uh, certainly some of the new methods that are now available, like rapid methods, mm -hmm. which I do a lot of work with, um, that it, it was very, very good timing, in fact. Um, I, I do a lot of research in rapid methods, things like ranking descriptive analysis and sensory acceptance testing and using kind of multivariate data analysis, a uh, bit like a you know, mini pref mapping, really. And so uh, it's, uh, it was quite timely uh, to uh, basically give some case studies how you can apply these new methods to different products things, you know, everything from chocolate to alcoholic beverages to dairy products, confectionery, meat, etc., bread uh, and those kind of products. The hardest one was uh, actually, for me, was the one on um, basically uh, planning and uh, product development strategy. And I suppose the interesting thing for me when writing the book was that I don't uh, pretend to know everything about sensory science, but sometimes you have to uh, explore gaps where I thought in my own knowledge base. So I looked at things like StageGate. StageGate is a product development strategy that is very draconian regarding um, product development. And I say that in, in that uh, if you consider that, you know, depending on which statistics you look at, between 70 and 98% of all new products fail. Why is that? Is it because we're not using the right methods, we're not getting to market uh, quick enough, or we're not asking the right questions to the right consumers? Uh, stage gate is something that I think is very important in that it kills bad ideas so you, you keep your resources for the next good idea and I think that we have to have this kind of strategy to help um, I suppose increase uh, success in marketplace. It's, uh, I, I integrate actually a lot of what I speak about in the book into my own teaching and it's, I suppose, a, a comprehensive education in traditional sensory methods, the new methods, the statistics, um, but the emphasis is certainly consumer driven. Um, many years ago when I started in the food industry, uh, maybe it wasn't always so consumer driven. An idea could come from marketing, where they get the idea, who knows. It could be a passionate manager who has a pet project and Sometimes they succeed, sometimes they don't. Uh, but you need to get the consumer involved at, at the first step. So when you have an idea, you make a product, do the focus groups, do the replication, validate, and continue to monitor to, to hopefully um, ensure success once you complete the whole project and launch in the market. What would I come up with? That's a tough question. <laughs> uh, well, 
I suppose um, what is so important at the moment um, I'm working on, a lot of my colleagues are working on too, is making uh, foods healthier. We have a lots of civilization diseases, uh, diabetes, obesity, um, heart disease, etc., um, where where products of uh, I suppose um, you know consumers have this. Uh, we have lots of unhealthy products, uh, but if we can make products healthier, maintain sensory quality, so something like that, I think. Thank you, Fabienne.